The Chrome User Experience Report is a dataset of real user website performance metrics that Google collects from Chrome users. The metrics that Google collects include the core web vitals, which are then used as a ranking factor in search results. Typically, when we look at core web vitals metrics in Crux, there is a 28-day data aggregation delay. So in this synthetic test result, you can see that we see um, this big increase right away on the 30th of May, and then gradually over the next 28 days, uh, the Crux data also updates to kind of reflect how real users are impacted. So who is Google actually collecting this data from? First of all, you have to be using Chrome and you have to use Chrome on either Android or desktop because iOS does not support core by vitals reporting. Visitors need to be logged into the Google account to be included in Crux reporting and they need to have opted in to browser history syncing. Finally, they need to have usage statistics reporting enabled in their settings. If you want to know if your performance data is included in the Chrome user experience report, you can check the Chrome colon double slash UKM URL, which will tell you whether metrics collection is enabled or not. You can expand one of these URLs to see what data is being collected. For example, we can see that Google is tracking the largest contentful paint, where the large contentful paint is text or an image, as well as various bits of information about page weight and other information that is not published in the Crux report. There are several different ways to look at data in the Chrome user experience report. One is using a Crux data API, which gives you data for roughly the last 28 days. And if you run a free website speed test on Debug Bear, this is what is shown there. So if I hover over this bar, you can see that I'm collecting data up to the 1st of March and currently the 4th of March. So there's a bit of a delay in addition to the 28 days. Google also has a Crux History API, which gives you data for the last 25 weeks. So if I enable the 25-week trend here, I can see that as well. And beyond the cover vitals, Google also has recently started reporting data on the LCP subparts. So for example, here we can see that there is a lot of load delay and that 90% of the time when a visitor comes to this page, the LCP element is an image. That basically tells us that like optimizing the image itself would not do very much because downloading the image is pretty quick. But the load delay is basically just coming because we are lazy loading this image. And that just means it takes a long time uh, to be discovered. Google also tells you how visitors are navigating to your website. So that can be a normal navigation, like entering a website URL or clicking on a link. It can be because they're reloading the page, or it can be because they're navigating backwards or forwards in the browser. And depending on how often each of these happens, you can apply additional optimizations. For example, back forward navigations, if they're fully optimized, can be instant. Finally, Google also provides some real world data for the on the network connections of your visitors. So in this case, we can see that when people go to this website, the typical network round trip time is 73 milliseconds. Google reports Crux data in a number of different ways. We already briefly talked about the Crux API and the Crux History API, but Google also has a separate mechanism for Google Search Console reporting and provides data in the BigQuery dataset. If you want to explore data from BigQuery, uh, Trio SiteSpeed is a great tool for that. So BigQuery data is only origin level, but it is a lot more detailed in some ways. So for example, you can see how performance varies across the world, and you can also see a much more detailed histogram. So rather than just getting the three buckets of good experiences, needs improvement, and poor, you actually get a much more detailed breakdown of visitor experiences. Debug Bear also provides a Crux Trends dashboard, which tells you how your website is doing in relation to your competition. You can also use schedule tests on Debug Bear, to monitor Google Crux data over time.